Good morning. Good morning. I pray today God will richly bless you. I pray you're excited about this day God has made for us and allowed us to see it. We have woke up this morning to a brand new day that God created just so we could enjoy it. We all probably today have a best friend, somebody maybe we grew up with in school and we have stayed close friends for, since that time, or, or maybe somebody we've met along the way that now has the same interest maybe as we do, and that's what draws us to be good friends. We always are going out and doing things together. But I want to talk to you today about the best friend you can ever have, and his name is God, and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Many of us are familiar with uh, the old hymn song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, All Our Grief and Pain to Bear. What an awesome song that is. We have a great person today to be our best friend. And I want you to look in John chapter 15, verse 12 through 17. Listen at this. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants. For a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I call you friends. For all the things that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you these things I command you that you love one another. Jesus today is our best friend. You know why? He is committed to us and his word. He says today that this commitment he has for us about the answering our prayers, meeting our needs, always to be with us, never to leave us, is eternal. It's a lifetime commitment. <clears throat> and so we may let him down, but the one thing we can be rest assured of is he will never leave us or let us down. He's open to us. He continually shows us more about him as we desire to learn. You know, that's one thing God will do. The more we desire to learn about him and his word, the more the Holy Spirit and he will help us do that. Sensitive to our wants as well as our needs. Folks, you can't ask for a better friend that will do that. Jesus Christ said, I will meet your needs. I will supply your needs through the riches and glory. And he knows how to meet our deepest longings. He lovingly invites us over and over and over again to come to him with our prayers, come to him with our needs, Give it all to him. He said, lay all your burden, cast all your burdens on me, and I will give you rest. What a friend that is. It says it's an inspiring comfort to a comforting listener who never quit to criticize. The Lord never gives us criticism. Now, he'll point out our faults when we let him down. He'll point, point out our failures, but he does it with love. He doesn't do it harshly. He doesn't do it without love and concern for who we are and, 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 our, and our soul. He loves us so much that everything he does for us is with love. I'm so thankful for the God that we serve today. Greater love has no one than this, that a person would lay his life down. Folks, he laid his life down on that old rugged cross that day so that you and I could be saved and spend eternity with him in heaven and not have to go to hell. What love he showed for us, praise the Lord, that day when he laid his life down on that cross so that you and I, could be forgiven of our sins. An old song in the old praise book, the red back hymnal that I love to hear sung. It says, the dearest friend I ever had. It says, when I was drifting out in sin, I had no peace nor joy within. But Jesus came and he made me glad, the dearest friend I ever had. He said, he saves my soul and will bless his name. I'll never forget the day he came. He makes me glad when I am sad the dearest friend I ever had. Oh, sinner, come to Jesus now. At his dear feet, just humbly bow. He'll save your soul and make you glad. He'll become the dearest friend you've ever had. What a song. I love it. He saved my soul. Oh, bless his name. I'll never forget the day he came. He makes me glad when I am sad. The dearest friend I ever had. My friend today, God is your dearest friend if you know him as Lord and Savior. And if you're lost today, he wants to become your dearest friend if you'll just reach out to him 
and confess that you are a sinner and confess that you would love, you want Jesus to come into your life and forgive you and cleanse you and walk with you and talk with you and abide with you. He'll become the dearest friend you've ever had. Praise the Lord. I am so thankful today. He calls me son and I call him my friend, my savior, my Lord and savior. Lord, thank you today for being that friend, the best friend, dearest friend that we can ever have and that you have prepared a place because of your love for us that we can come one day and spend the rest of our lives and our eternity with you. Thank you, Lord, for being that friend in Jesus' name. Amen. May God richly bless you today is my prayer.